25-5 Penn State. Set, Safely home three. with a dual meet victory, which will be their fourth in a row. Well, coming out here is going to be uh, looking is uh, Jeremy Cook from Venice, Florida. Nine and five on the year and a sophomore for Lockhaven. Jack Decker, 15 and six so far. But this is his first action for Penn State since January the 27th. And he lost that time to Joe Figano of Indiana. Four to nothing, got yeah. shut out. Yeah, he was he was filling in up a weight class or two for that one. Uh, you know, he's done some open tournaments and done really well. He's just kind of been stuck, stuck in the lineup behind some of Penn State's big guns there. So well, the one thing Decker is in the wrestling room, he gets to see Phil Davis every day. Yeah, I'm sure that's not a good feeling. Actually, I don't think he touches Phil too much because he's usually around a 74-pounder. He Phil's mentioned he was 197 in the Indiana match that he was yeah. shut out in. Yeah, he probably touches Phil once in a while, Jed, it's not a good feeling for him. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the coaches have to double team on Phil. And fortunately, you know, we have a couple really good heavyweights in the room, John Labronke and, and a whole slew of them. And then also we got Aaron Ansbach defending NCAA runner-up last year. And he, I say defending, but he's done with his career, but he's on staff and he helps out with Phil a lot. Well, his only uh, national ranked opponent, he did see Mike Pichillo of Ohio State back on uh, January the 25th. His other national opponent, well, his own teammate at 184, 18th ranked Phil Bomberger at the time back on December the 2nd. Yeah, Penn State We're open, and that's that was pretty much was the key for Phil stepping away. We didn't know going into this year who would be the 84 pounder, but Phil Bomberger stepped away from the crowd. He's a Junietta high school graduate. Uh, same high school as David Hart, Penn State assistant coach, who's a two-time All-American for the Lions, and uh, he's out of Junietta High School. Dave's brother, Bob Hart, is the coach of Junietta, and that's where Baumberger went to high school. But, you know, he's out tonight, and Decker, there, there's very little difference between the two of them in, in ability, but there's a lot of difference in style. Baumberger, short, stocky, powerful double leg. Decker, long, lanky, funky, tough on top. I see on his grid here, six matches unattached. What does that mean, Ken? Well, that, that means he's, because he's not in the varsity lineup consistently, he goes to a lot of open tournaments and just wrestles in competition, and that's good for him. So he's got over 20 matches under his belt this season, but there have not been very many varsity dual meets. Are well, you looking at opening period action? And still no score. Well, we got a slow start, too, at uh, 174 there with Mike Lorenzo and uh, Mike Metzger, and it ended up being just a really nice, dramatic finish and a great win again for Lorenzo. Yeah, that his was fourth of the year. Something special. That was really exciting. And it's, you know, we see Coach Lorenzo speaking before the match, talking about the Penn State tradition and, you know, the slogan, success with honor. And he epitomized it. It's neat to see his son choosing to stay home. He could have went to a smaller college. He got a lot more time in early on, but Mike decided to stay home and wrestle for the Lions. And he keeps improving and doing well. And, Oh, that's a huge win for him. That was really exciting. Plus, it was up a weight class over a senior. So, big win for Mike Lorenzo. Hey, they've got almost 2,000 people here, and the competition in this region is stiff. You've got the District Choice. 6 Lock High Haven. School Wrestling Championships at the Fieldhouse in Altoona. It's also Down, District Lock 4. Haven. We're in Lockhaven yeah. country in District 4, and they're going on at the same time. So, wrestling is playing a starring role in Central PA. Well, all over the state, all the district finals are today. Yeah, wrestling's a huge, pop huge in popularity. The youth wrestling is exploding across the state and across our country. Sometimes the high schools, they don't always have as many wrestlers as they maybe did 10 or 20 years ago. It's simply a survival of the fittest. The youth wrestling is doubled or more in size. There's so many kids doing it, so they kind of filter out. By the time they get to junior high and early high school, they've made decisions whether they're gonna stick with the sport or not. But in general, there's just so many more kids wrestling at different at young ages. And the high school quality has improved tremendously. We yeah. talked about Balding earlier, we mentioned Central Mountain, but uh, Central Mountain here in Lock Haven is a consolidation of Balding and Nittany, Ben, and Lock Haven, and also Sugar Valley. They they were expected to come together as a powerhouse sooner, but it's just now, I don't know, they've been together maybe six, seven years, Jed, Central yeah. Mountain. And now they're coming together under the guidance of Doug Buckwalter. They're, they become, they were ranked the top 20 in the country this year. When you interlock for a oh, while. That's tremendous you're talent down. all over. Let's go. Lock him, you're I down. think we're isolated. You know, Title IX, a lot of wrestling programs have, you Set. know, been cut for those reasons. But 
Not in Pennsylvania. No, not in PA. You look, you're looking at Lock Haven head coach Rock Bonomo, and that, that guy's exciting. Him and his brother were all Americans multiple times for Bloomsburg, and now Rock's here coaching. You see Mike Rogers looking on as well. Mike's a Lock Haven All American, Rock's a Bloomsburg All American. And those guys are both pieces, athletes, outstanding coaches, and they're hoping to rebuild this Lock Haven program. They've, they've been here a while now, and they had a solid program the past couple years, but now they've slid off um, with a lot of young guys here this year. And right now they're feeling pretty good about things because Decker's almost falling off. I think he's going to recover, though, because he's really tough on top. He's got good balance. But coming well, back to your statement. He moved his hips through to stay on top. Yeah, he did. He got his hips back on top. You know, wrestling, is, as I said, wrestling is growing in popularity at the youth and junior high. Title IX is hurting it. It's, it. I'm supportive of Title IX. I want women to play sports. I want women to have opportunities. But we can't do it at the expense of men. We, we, the athletic directors, we don't want them pulling out the plug on the wrestling. We want them to promote the wrestling. And the wrestling coaches need to reach out and build the program in their university and their communities. Sometimes wrestling coaches get so wrapped up in the X's and O's of the takedowns, but they've got to reach out and promote their sport and build community support. You, part of the way you do that is by developing exciting wrestling, getting guys to be more aggressive. You go to high school wrestling and you see more action and more energy. We need to see that more at the college level too. Well, Decker is down one nothing at this point in time. There we, we sound out the horn. I mean, Decker's right there. Low scoring match. It's been mostly a high scoring evening up until we uh, got here a little heavier. Yeah, that's to be expected. Slows down a little bit the bigger guys, but they're scrapping hard. That's a couple good ride outs for Penn State. I mentioned earlier that we need to see Penn State more tough on top. Well, at least Lorenzo and Decker have shown some tenacity on top with ride outs and back to back matches, although neither one of them got any back points, which is obviously the goal to turn the guy and get the back points. Penn State in control at 25-5. We're going to see uh, Phil Davis, number three, three-time All-American, coming up. Yeah, don't go anywhere. He's the most exciting match of the day, and the heavyweight match is going to be a good one, too. Two really good wrestlers, John Labaranti from Pittston against Dan Craig, who's from Michigan, but actually grew up doing his youth wrestling here in Pennsylvania before moving to Michigan. So we're, and those guys are both agile, athletic heavyweights. So we got two really good matches coming up. So stay tuned, keep your eyes on that TV, and we're going to see some great big guy wrestling. If you like to see big guys fight, you're going to see it here in the next Work two bouts. Keep working. You get a look at uh, Decker on the bottom right there. You know, it doesn't look like much on your screen, but that picture working, right there go. just shows you how much exertion and just how much energy is expended. Center mat right there. Yeah, he needs to quit laying there and Keep get working. to it. This is another area where Penn State needs to improve upon the mat wrestling. I mean, they're the top wrestling and then the bottom. He's not moving. He's he's let the guy hold a leg and he finally built his base, but he's not he's not rolling or hip heisting. Yep, Penn State still got her, as you say there. Penn State is 54 seconds, but it's not going to come into play. So Penn State rode for two minutes, and then Lock Haven rode for now a minute and 10 seconds. No first move by Penn State. Let's see if he's got a second move. This is Decker's weakness. And in general, so, oh, there you go. Got the escape. That ties it at one. Wow, he went right back at the shot. He can't, well, this is critical time right here. Boy, Decker's tough in this position, though. If he's got his energy, I don't think he's going to let Cook finish. He's looked at the clock. He wants a quick go behind. Jit Decker might get it. Okay, Cook's got a sprawl. Cook's leeching on. Not Decker's strength here, but if he can slip his head, he can get it. Short time left. Short time. Lockhaven's got to cling on tight. Decker's got to slip his arm through and turn his hips. Short time. Almost got it. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's still no control yet. No. Nope. Nothing yet. We're going Whoa. overtime here. We're going sudden victory. Real close. First takedown is going to win this bout. It was sleepy the first two periods, wasn't it? Not anymore. Look here. This was critical right here. Decker was able to get a sit out and turn in. Look how he clears his hips, turns in. Now we're going overtime, baby. Sudden victory. First takedown is going to win it here. It's going to come down to conditioning. Who's tough when they're tired? Who can keep their concentration and get it done? Neither wrestler is showing much offense on their feet. So if somebody gets something here, it'll be because they wear the guy down. Oh, sloppy shot. Good recovery, though. OK, Lock Haven's still looking solid. He took a shot, recovered quick. What about shooting low here, going for the legs? Well, that would be Decker's thing. He might go low. Oh, bad shot, bad shot. But Lock Haven recovers. Decker's got a good low single, but he's not going to use it here. He's got, he needs a dump or sucker drag. Right now, he's just hoping not to get scored on. 
Lockhaven's got a chance to win here. He broke it. Oh!